Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to rig and animate this lamp. I thought it'd be a good idea to rig uh, and animate something other than a character. So let's get started. I am going to open up the startup file. Don't save. It's just a lamp. I, um, I got the original EPS file from the internet, took it into Illustrator, broke it up and prepared the parts to import into Blender as an SVG graphic. And so I've imported it into Blender and I have converted all its parts to grease pencil strokes and named them. I named all of the different parts. There they are. And so here we are, um, again, the, the light bulb, the light, the desk, the, the desk, the base, everything's there. And so what we're going to do is create an armature to control the lamp and then attach all of the different parts to the different bones in the armature. So let's get started creating that armature. I'm in object mode. I'm going to go ahead and add and I'm gonna add an armature and that creates a bone. Uh, just in your scene, I'm gonna go ahead and, and move it right to the center. I'm gonna zoom in. And I'm going to size it. I'm gonna go to edit mode, hit tab, and I'm going to grab the tip here and move it down to size it. And I want to land it right in the center. And I want this to be, uh, in fact, we can move it right to the, to the edge and move this right to the center. That's where it's going to pivot from. Very, very important. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more. I'm going to grab that tip and then hit E on the keyboard to extrude. I'm going to extrude one more and right at the center I'm going to move it down, hit E to extrude, one more bone right there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, hit E again, and I'm going to do right at the base of this uh, lamp head, and I'm going to hit E again, and then go out to the tip of the bulb. This bone will control the entire head, while this will control this pivot this bone will control the upper arm. This bone will control the lower arm. And this will control the entire base, including this hinge. All right, now that we've got our armature, first thing we need to do, the very first thing we need to do is name all the bones. So we're in edit mode. I'm gonna select this bone. I'm gonna push this up, go to the bone. And this one, let's call it uh, head. That's the head. Uh, this one we can call it head joint. It's kind of like the neck. This one we'll call it upper arm. And this one we'll call lower arm. It's very important that you name all the bones, name all your parts, uh, and try to stay organized. This one, we'll just call it base. Cool. Now that we've got all our joints or bones named, uh, the next thing to do is to parent it to all of the items. Uh, in other words, all, everything that the bones will animate, they need to be parented to the armature. Let's go to object mode and let, let's select all of the items first in the lamp. I could do that easier here in the outliner than trying to select all the parts here in the scene. So let's start selecting all the items. I'm holding down the command key to continue. I won't select the armature and I won't select the desk, but I will select that base, hinge, all the hinge, the little hole, this, the lamp back, even the highlight here, the light, the actual light, the light bulb and the outline, the switch, the switch base, 
not the wall nor the desk. And then lastly, holding the shift key to add to the selection, click on the armature. Boom. Remember, you select the child first and then the parent. So I've selected all of the items and then the armature. Hit Command P and then you're going to select Armature Deform with Empty Groups. And that will parent the armature to all of the parts. Uh, and you can test it out by just selecting the armature and moving it and everything should move with it. All right, cool. That's step one. Step two would be to connect all of the parts to their corresponding bones, like we did in the previous video. So let's do that. Uh, for example, I know that the light should be handled by this uh, head bone. And so I'm going to go to this light. I am going to go to edit mode, hit tab, select it. I'm going to select a stroke, so select it. And then I am going to move this up, go to the stroke properties. I'm going to close the layers, close onion skinning, and reveal this vertex group and select the head bone assign. I am going to go to the next one, hit tab, select the, uh, let's select the bulb outline. Tab, select it in edit mode, head assign. Next, tab to go to object mode. Click to select the bulb. Tab to go to edit mode. Select it and head assign. Back to object mode. Select it. Edit mode. Select it. Head assign. Even this, back to object mode, even this highlight. Tab to edit mode. Make sure it's selected. Head assign. This is made up of several different parts. So let's start with uh, hit tab to go to object mode. Select it, edit, select it, head, assign. Select it, select, head, assign. Select it, select, head, assign. Select, select, head, assign select head assign that should be everything that should be everything let's test it let's test it uh, go to object mode select the armature i'm going to zoom out just a little bit go to pose mode select the head bone and then rotate it everything should go with it Ooh, and it does that's awesome all right cool now Let's move on to this joint. I'm gonna zoom in a little. Now, I'm gonna go back to object mode, select this one, that little, um, what's it called? Pivot, and go to edit mode, select it, and this one will, will select the head joint and assign. Go back to object mode, select the next object, edit mode, and hit head joint assign. And then there's this one right here, the yellow part, and assign. And that should work. We're gonna jump into um, this one, but see how the, the bone is obstructing my view of the second part, the lower part? Uh, so let's do this while we are here. I'm going to select the armature Go to its bone properties object data properties and then go to viewport and I want to select stick in front and That frees up some space now we can go to this one Tab to go to edit mode and we will attach this one to the upper arm. How about this one? Upper arm. And this 
go back to object mode, select it, go back to edit mode, select it, upper arm, assigned. And then we've got one more, this, this uh, little circle here, we're going to select it in edit mode, upper arm, assigned. Let's test it. Let's go ahead and test it, guys. Select the arm, go back to object mode, select the arm, the armature. And if I go to pose mode, select this one, I can move the lamp head. Awesome. If I select this one, I could still move the lamp head from this pivot, uh, upper half. We still need to do the lower half, so let's get that done. Go back to object mode, select this upper part, tab, select it in, in edit mode. Let's go to the lower arm and assign. Tab, select it, tab, select it, lower arm, assign. Tab, select, tab, select, lower arm. And then one last one. Uh, tab to go to edit mode, selected, and lower arm, assign. Um, the last part that we need to do is the base. And then we'll test it. So the base has several parts. I'm going to go back to object mode, select this one, go back to edit mode, select it. And this one gets uh, assigned to the vertex group base, assign. The back to object mode, select it, back to edit mode, select it, base, assign. Back to object mode, select, edit mode, select, base, assign. One last one, guys. Select, edit mode, select, base, assign. And that's it. We've, we went ahead and, and rigged the entire lamp. Let's test everything. Go back to object mode, select the entire rig. Go to pose mode, select this. We know this one works, awesome. Command Z, we know this one works, awesome. We know this one works, there we go, awesome. And finally, this one will rotate the entire um, lamp or it can be placed anywhere. So we'll place it here. And now we can start animating. I'm going to do, I'm not going to make it jump. Uh, I'm going to leave that for homework for you guys. Uh, but I'm just going to animate uh, the upper structure without it leaving the floor. And it's real easy, guys. I'm going to push this up a little bit so you can see it. Uh, we're going to do 20 frames, and it's as easy as selecting the bone. Well, first of all, I'm going to select all of them, and I'm going to hit a, I'm going to create a keyframe for all of the bones on frame one by hitting the letter I in the keyboard and creating a, a keyframe for the location and the rotation of all the bones on frame one. Uh, turn on auto key. And then go to a frame, let's say five, and select which bone you want to animate. Uh, we're gonna make them lean forward. I mean, lean down, lean down like this at frame five, and then come back, come back up, come back up. Let's say, let's say to there like he's looking for something here. Oops, right there. And then at frame 15, he goes back to his normal position here. And then maybe at 20, we could do like he goes up again. Uh, since we had auto keyframe, guys, any any movement that you do uh, automatically creates a keyframe. Let's uh, hit play. You can see that that's way too fast. 
So I'm gonna add more frames. Let's say double, the, um, not double the speed, double the amount of frames and select all of them. And I'm gonna put it on frame one, hit S to scale. And then I'm going to just slow everything down. Boom, right there. So hit play again. It's still maybe, oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What I, I slowed down the, all of the keyframes for that, boom, but not everything else. So if you select everything else, we'll do it for everything again. Put it on frame one, hit S, and then scale everything. Boom, right there. And if I need to move uh, any, I could just grab them and move them. Like this one I could put at frame, whatever. It's up to you. You can play with the timing, hit play. There it is. Now it looks a little bit better, easier. Like I said, you can, I'll make this first part really fast, boom. And you can see it, it has a different effect. Maybe it's a little too fast. There we go, it goes down and then, and then it slowly comes back. And there you go guys, I hope that you've enjoyed uh, the video and I hope that it was uh, helpful to you. If you like the video, go ahead and uh, hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.